The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Hi, everyone. Basil Trappin sitting for Larry Pesavento. He couldn't make it. Uh, he had, I guess he had some technical problems, and I just have exactly the, up until 12, a little free time right now to be able to do the show. I, I was asked if it was possible. Yes. Let's just do this real quickly. I will not do anything... Um, uh, that I usually, I won't say I won't do anything, but I'll try to do many things that I know Larry covers. We'll cover it in a slightly different way, of course. Uh, only Larry can do it Larry's way, but I know that he loves to teach his courses, and I know that he does some fantastic work. He had this absolutely fantastic call on Wednesday, got the exact low. Oh, it was just a spectacular move, the way he discussed it, where he got in, where he put the stops. So, and he has a webinar, an all-day webinar coming up, I guess it's a week from, Tuesday, this past Tuesday. So, yeah, a week from this coming Tuesday. So check out front page of TFNN. In the Chapman Wave, we're always looking for at least four higher peaks once you go from a buy signal to a buy mode. That implies that there should be uh, a trend, that tr a tidal trend that moves you higher. So you identify the lowest low. There's te techniques to do that. Then you go peak A and peak B. At that point, you should be getting uh, uh, the technicals confirming that there's enough strength to go at least to a D, the fourth highest peak. You can go E, F, and G. There's never an H. But D is where other things can happen. Sometimes you get a double top at C. I call it a peak C1 and a C2 because it acts exactly like like a D as the technicals fail, and then it starts a brand new move to the upside. Lo and behold, we got that in the um, one minute chart. Look at this beautiful cup formation. I just haven't had time to do it. I was doing my show. There are some flip numbers still in here. I, I used to get rid of them because it got a little messy, but I do use them when I need them. And look what happened. We pulled back from peak C2, went down to 4,080, 4, and now we've gone to a peak D. And that's really important. So there's a bit of a pullback. I'll come back to all this as we move along. I want to do, I know Larry loves to do the commodities. Let's just say for at the moment, we've had a double bottom potential, just as we had many other times. I'll do this real quickly because I, if you heard my show, then you have to hear it again. If you don't know my work, what I'm looking at here is this candle on the, uh, I better make sure it's the 24th, I believe. Yeah, 24th of February. Um, match the candle of the 24th of January. I call it the Chapman Wave Roman candle. It's where usually we get it at highs. I don't want to go to the S&P right now because it's really important that I, I explain it from what we're talking about. But when it happens at lows after a big pullback, the rule of thumb is there's a little tiny wick and a long wick, and then it closes a halfway to two-thirds of the way above the wick if it's a green candle from the bottom, if there are closes above the high that was made of that particular bar, that is usually an initiation of a nice strong move to the upside. It doesn't tell you whether yet you're going to go to a leg D, but look what happened. We went to the peak, seen the Dow, and it pulled back very sharply to undercut that low. Went to the low of 32,272, which to this day is still holding, and that was on the 24th of Feb. Another Chapman Wave Roman candle. I've got it notated a little bit better to see, maybe. Uh, yeah, no, I'll, I'll go back there. That's fine. You can see it's the same candle. It's a long, a long wick candle with a tiny little wick. And I call it Roman candle because when you light the wick, it can blow up or can blow down. And look what happens. In this particular case, it moved to the upside. And then you got the same arch formation pattern that I always look at here is the dreaded H pattern. This is this one right here. Uh, there we go. Uh, lowercase h, if you uh, go to a peak A or a B and you fail, there's a good chance you're going to take out that left side low. What you do after that is very important. Well, it didn't take out the left side low. In this particular instance, it went to 32,578. And they started that big move to peak D on the around about the 28th of March. 
at 35,372. Pulls back, had a new multi that Thursday. It was a Thursday I was away. Went to 35,492. Look at the look at the vertical test. Strong here on that leg D. Weak on that leg E. Look, I typed in weak. And then we came tumbling down. Now what we've got is, I call this a chap wave. This is a half Roman candle. I some, discussed this a long time ago as, as a potential in my repertoire of techniques. And look what we did. Well, being a half, it means maybe you don't go quite as high on the rally where we went to this massive move on Wednesday up to the 34,100s. And we come down and today we've so far, the day is young. This is this is a really volatile market and and, and the, the leaning is towards selling all the time. So we've got to keep that in mind. But so far, we've had another H test. This one, we don't know because the day is young. But so far, it seems successful because we haven't gone below 32,449. But we did go to 32,474. Um, yes. So and we have, oh, we have a caller. Let me see. Now, Larry's not on today. I'm doing my best uh, because it was just sudden and I turned out to have. Uh, Mike in Long Island. Uh, yes, Mike, how are you? Good, good. How are you? I'm good. This is not, you know, this is not Larry Pesavento, right? Basil Chapman speaking. Yes, yes, yes. 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 So <laughs> I'm trying to, I have a position in four stocks. I wanted to know uh, what do you think uh, uh, is short term and long term? So let me ask you the question. Normally I just go about it and I say, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to track this. Whether or not I own it, whether or not it's a buy or sell, I'm just going to do the analysis. Before, mm -hmm. in this case, I can tell from your voice, I need to ask the question. Mike, have you had this for a while? I bought it at uh, last uh, two weeks ago at 1560. Okay, good. I, I, that's what, The reason why I asked, if, if you're one of those people that bought it at, say, 15 or 16, back in 2021 and saw it go all the way to 25 at PD in the weekly chart, PD in the monthly chart, and then watched it get cut almost, it will cut in half. That's a completely different psychological thing. But if you were in two weeks ago and it looked like it, uh, three days ago, it looked like it was coming back to where you bought it, right? And then it suddenly failed yesterday and the day and today, right? Yes, yes. Okay, so now the question I have to ask you, is are you looking at this as a as a longer term, a kind of a buy and hold that you, maybe your plan was that you would buy it, but if it got to another level, either up or down, you would add to it, or is this your position, and now you just want to see where it goes? Yes, I just want to see in short term. Like my target was just get one dollar swing, but it seems like it went down reverse. So. Uh, either short term do you think any bounce okay so this is the re the reason why i asked all these questions is because there is a there's really a very big difference between buying a stock wanting it to go up just uh eight percent which is kind of what you wanted or maybe maybe even a little more and then seeing it come down eight percent almost immediately so let's talk about that in the moment. I'm looking out. I like Ford, but I need to talk about the show. I'll be right back. That's the chapter no. see you for the hour that Larry Pesavento does his show. I'll be back with Mike and Ronan. I'll talk about Ford in a moment. We'll also look at all the commodities. As you soon might as I get think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the Opening Call newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors.
Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month. And try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Well, I almost did the Tiger Technicians Hour there, but then I remembered I was sitting in for Larry's Hour. This is the this is Larry Pesaventa's Hour, but it's certainly not his show. I'm doing other things. This is Mike in Long Island calling about Ford. So my my only question to you is, what would you consider a stop that you'd be comfortable with, uh, Mike? Uh, maybe thirteen seventy five. Okay, let's stay with that. I too would have thought that I actually today's low was $14. I would say a slide in the next two days below that says to me, let's come back again. I don't want to be in if this suddenly uh, takes off to the downside. It's got the pattern I call the Eiffel Tower straight up and straight down in the weekly chart, but now it's held at about the 70% or so area from the, from the top. So what I'm going to say to you is this, on a short-term basis, Stocks like a Ford and a General Motors, um, I'm not sure about all the other elec the electric car companies. Uh, you can co consider Ford once to be, but it isn't right now. But I'd also put Tesla in this group with the dreaded H that's so far successful, trying to get back above the 200-period moving average. Why don't we do this? Um, I, in my show, the Tiger Conditions Hour, if you're able to call Monday or Tuesday, let's look at Ford again. I would say that just for my own going in in the 15s, I wouldn't want more, even if it's just a starter position looking at a, a trade, I wouldn't want more than an 8% risk, 10% maybe, but 8% is kind of where it, it pulled back to. That that was That's stretching it. Now it's trying to come back. It's only down 16. I'm going to suggest you hold on to it. My, my immediate look at the weekly charts is what I... It's going down to at least the 12s, but that's not the point. In the short term, which is what you said, I think there's a chance that if this market somehow or other finds some support today and survives the Sunday night into Monday, what is Russia going to talk about? What invasion, deep invasion? Who knows? But if we can survive into Tuesday, I think we have the chance here to have the kind of relief rally that allows you to just have time and, and, and then patience to see where your, your newest longs can go. And at the same time, it gives you a little leeway. So I'm going to say to you, um, it stretched a little bit what I would have had as a stop, but you've got that number. 
stick with that number for now. And I'm just going to say to you that if it does, if Ford if by today holds 14, and by Monday, for whatever reason, it's able to get to the 1475 level, just raise, I would raise my stop to the 1415, 1425 level. And then let's try to look at it again on Tuesday. I'll make a note if I remember Ford on Tuesday. I'll make a note that we're looking at it Monday and Tuesday. So I hope that helps you. Looking out, I think a lot more work needs to be done. And I think looking out, Ford will be back in play. But there's a lot of a lot of base building that I think needs to be formed right now. Hope that helps you. Yeah, sure. I can call you on Tuesday then, right? Please. I hope so. In my target technicians are, yes. Sure. Thank you. Thank you very much for calling. So, folks, another quick question. Well, I got a question. I don't know if it'll be quick or not. So, uh, EPAM, EPAM in the in the Tiger YouTube, folks, you got to, you got to, between the den and the Tiger YouTube, just, ah, oh, just comments are fabulous. So, we're looking at EPAM, which is Training at 357.63 EPAM is EPAM Systems. I used to have this all notated. It was a fantastic stock going into the end of 2021. It went over 700. It went from the hundreds just two years ago. Spectacular stock. They must do something that is in tremendous demand. And then the failure must be whatever it is. Because that, that, I mean, going from the 7, 725. 40 high of November down to the low of of the 8th of March at 168. I would definitely call that a little bit of a slide. But now it's looking good. And yes, I agree with you in the chat wave. I'm calling this a B. I don't see any reason why I should call this an alternate count G slash B. It looks like a B. It's acting well. It's got a gap which must have been on news. I love that. That's nice. So far, this is the exact action you want to see the day after the gap. It hasn't so far filled, even gone below the low, the high, sorry, the low of yesterday's gap up of 33327. I like it. What I would do is I would start a position right here, knowing that the market is highly vulnerable, but it's gone against the downside of the market so far. Say, so yes, I do like it, and I'm going to make a note of it right here as something to follow. It is a, a high price at 358 That doesn't make it expensive. It just means it's high price. So I do like it. How it fills the gap, which it will at some point, is going to be really important. If it doesn't get below 320 all of next week, but in fact can get to the 383 level, that's fantastic action. That's the leadership you want to see in a formerly uh, a very popular, you can see, uh, sector. And I don't know what that sector is, but I can see by the chart. Hope that helps you. APM failure was exposure to Russia, software made in Ukraine. Oh, thank you for telling me that, Jamalaya. So if it's software made in Ukraine and thus far they, okay, that means that you, I love it. I love the action. But what I am going to say, don't overdo it. Yes, you can make money, a real nice bunch of money. But on any day, it could be Monday or Tuesday, if something happens uh, in the Ukraine, and they suddenly, they, they could be shut down for a day or two or three or four or five. So that keep that in mind. But as a chart formation, this is really nice. And I love the way it filled in the, uh, in the, the big red candle of the just going into the February uh, close. And look at that. And now it's trying to fill the gap. So keep that in mind. I did not thank you for telling me. It's just, oh, the den. I love that. YouTube, terrific. Um, let's, let's just do this. Dow's now positive 27 points and up nine points in the S&P. And that's what I was talking about. That's why I just couldn't pull the trigger on the short side this morning. I did for subscribers. We did go long. We had a, a, a long position with a, a tight stop of not even a percent, just a tiny, just a, and I, I didn't want to jump back in and send off an email because I was doing my show. But I really thought that there was a chance that there was something going on today that was more emotional than technical. The technical side said to me, um, there's enough strength to come back from any sharp loss. I don't know about how high it'll go. Let me do this. So wheat. So Larry's show, let's do this. Larry's hour, but not his show. Only Larry can do his show. We're in the sideways rectangle formation. Talk about rectangle formations. They can last, remember my rule of thumb, a narrow rectangle formation can last a lot longer than your patience. So we'll see what happens if wheat is able to break above and not fail at 11 at 1146 the high of the 19th that area if it's able to get to 11 
58. Next week, by Tuesday, Wednesday, that means wheat has broken out of its rectangle formation. Look, look. when I say rectangle formation, it can last a lot longer than your patience. Just look at this. We've got our legs, see, now in the 120-minute chart. We've gone, look at that rectangle. Look at that trading band. In fact, it should have been all the way to there. The trading band that went on from, from 11.40 on the 5th, <clears throat> 11.40 on the 5th, all the way through between 40, 41.68, let's go to the 41.70, and 41, 40, 41.00. So that's a lot, that's 60 points. But look, look, how long we've stayed in the range. And then we broke under it, and the rectangle formation says, there's a good chance when you break under the rectangle, you'll rally, and if you go above the halfway marker, for more than two bars, there's a chance that you can break above if the If you rectangle. want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. So I'm just going to show you now. This is Basil Chapman sitting in for Larry Preservento's hour. It's not trade what you see, although we do trade what we see. Um, uh, Larry, of course, has his webinar coming up. Uh, couldn't make it today, but he has his webinar coming up. Uh, go to the front page of TFNN. Uh, should be another one of those fantastic webinars that he does, all-day webinar. Uh, wheat, continuous contract. Just the most recent high was 2011, up in the continuous contract high of um, 80, uh, 1586 comes all the way down to the 500s and spirals up and you see this long-legged doji this invert sorry this inverted Chapman wave Roman candle it says and that my technique is that if it starts to trade it's a monthly candle so on any weekly not a daily but a weekly basis if there is a close above 1194 you know what I'm gonna make it 1200 
if there's a close above 1200, there's a real good chance you're going to go above the high that was made at um, in March of 1375 and a quarter. This is a continuous contract, so that price will be slightly different on different systems. But that high and the, everything about it is exact, exactly the same. And that says it could work its way higher. And that goes to inflation for sure. All right. But in the meantime, you've got the sideways rectangle formation that can last quite a while, certainly in the daily and, and, the, um, and the weekly chart. Looking at soybeans, soybeans, only in a leg B and a double top. It's unbelievable that it couldn't go one quarter point higher, tracing quarter points. 1725.68 and three quarters was the high, the week of the 25th of Feb. And look, let me just remember what that was. 1725 and three quarters, 1724 was the high the week of the 24th of April, and that's so far a double top. And if you look at the technicals, look at the left side here, the technicals were starting to weaken, but the MACD was very strong. Here the technicals are actually starting to strengthen, and that says that on a short-term basis, oh, the notation's just a little bit too high. It's not automated. Every notation you see here is me hand, hand charting it. Uh, I have got a system here that says... You can do it automatically, but the subtleties of the travel wave methodology, it's just so hard to define in a computer terms, um, especially when you get alternate counts, just visually it's so, so much easier to see. So this is the leg B, and now it's starting to make an arch formation, holding the 50 period moving average in uh, soybeans. But just think of it this way. You've got a rectangle formation and it lasts longer than your patience. But the most important thing about a rectangle formation is that within the context of making it at highs, invariably there could be one pop to the upside, then you've got to be careful because it goes quickly back into the middle. But it's a gray B. If it goes above uh, 1670 and three 17, 1724 by one quarter point, it starts leg C. And that says there's a real good chance you're going to retest and maybe break above the high that was made 24th of um, 24th of Feb. All right, let's go to corn. And in Boston, we say corn. We're going to corn right now. Corn made a peak F slash C. This is when we got the alternate counts. Look at the technicals. It said on this high that was made right here at um, on the uh, 19th of April on the, on the daily chart, 814 and three quarters. The high that was made a little higher at 824 and a half had okay but not great technicals in the sense that it's pulling back but price is the arbiter of a trend so far it's holding very well uh corn uh, at c is the uh, continuous contract it's trading down eight and a half at 789 if it's it could stay in this little rectangle formation right now uh that it's in for a little longer and then we'll see what happens i can just make it very clear if corn starts to trade this will become a peak f of trades one day below 768. But at this particular point, I'm prepared to keep the alternate count because there could be one more pop to a slightly higher high. And looking at the uh, monthly chart, look at this Chapman wave. Um, this is the notation here. Left side, right side price match to this little tiny doji candle. It's one of the techniques I use. Says that by uh, late summer, corn should be making, it could happen before then, but by the latest midsummer, it should break above the high that was made at 868 and three quarters back in the week of no that's the month of august 12 12 and that's and it's in leg c and if it goes higher in this month in leg c it continues it if it stalls it says you've got your leg d still to come so so far that's still very positive now i want to look at the dollar question came in is the dollar making the high the, the high and that's it that was the question. So the question I have, the statement I have is, well, for subscribers, we're still long from 2018, April from 1907. We took one little bit off at 96.07. We're using the, uh, we're using the uh, UUP bull, dollar bull, ETF or fund um, as what well, that's our trading vehicle. And we watched it go all the way to the high of 102.99. Uh, and then it pulled back to 89.21, and we held on, stop held, and we're still in that position. And look what happened. It went to a higher high. It broke the high. So is this a triple top? That's really a question, right? In the Chapman wave, you 
W-W formation. This is the, uh, the inverse of the H going to an M pattern. This is the U going to a double U. Are we making a double top? Well, the stochastic's at 90% in the monthly. The MACD is very strong. The on-balance volume I don't have because it doesn't trade. Uh, the dollar index is different to the UUP. That's why you have to use that. But we have the 9 period way above the 14, and it's in leg C. And because it had gone 82.25, 88.25, it did hold the left side low. So technically, I can give this an alternate count. There's nothing here that says I should. And I still think that the United States economy, regardless of where it is and what it's doing, is still one of the better economies in the world. The dollar is the icon of that. That's the Holly Davidson icon of, of America. It is the dollar at this particular point. So I'm just going to say that's holding very well. Now we put it together and say, let's look at it in terms of gold. Let's look at it in terms of, look at this. The, the weekly chart has gone to a leg F over the previous high. Does it close above that previous high? That'll be really important. You want two closes out of three in the, in the Chapman Wave cup formation. Uh, in this case, going from the high of 102.99 back in 2020 and pulls back. And now it's got this pattern. I drew this in as a Chapman Wave left side, right side. Not exact price time because the plumb line shifted to the right, but that's the one I used. And it got there two days, two weeks late. And here we are. It's gone above 102.99. Does it close even one week above it? But I like two out of three in this case, weeks, but they bars, to say, hey, that's a legitimate move to the upside. Stochastics at 94%. That's fantastic. Magni is good. So, so far, the dollar's holding well in all time frames. Short term, you've got to watch this because you've got the, the, the H pattern in reverse. That's the cup formation right here. And that just says what happens on this bar on the on 28th with the technicals being strong, and this bar, where the technicals are a little weak, but the MACD hasn't turned down, the 9 is way above the 14, there's still internal strength here. So let's do this EUR, USD, these are the currency pairs, Dow's down 205, it hit that level and then turned round. That's why I'm saying, just don't be too fancy here. You've got to be, you've got to take everything at face value and really trade or, or, or analyze what you see. Um, we're looking at the euro trying to rally at a peak B off the low, but the monthly charge, remember I said, look at this left side, right side with the plumb line that I drew. Look at this perfect arch formation left side. It's called the RQ. And look at this right side RQ on the, going down for the, for the semicircle. And we went two bars late. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all prices levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. We're back. Uh, Basil Chapman, seeing you for the hour that Larry Pesavento would be here. I had a lot of questions about I never got to my show, the Tiger Delicious Hour. I never got to all the commodities and the currencies. Could I do that on Monday? I said, okay, I'll do it. But then I decided well, once I heard Larry couldn't make it uh, today for this hour. Don't forget he's got his should be a wonderful webinar coming up in two weeks time all day uh, uh, from Tuesday check front page of TFNN so the euro dollar currency pair it broke down it went below the low of March of 2022 for yesterday for last week this week it's still under it it's at 1.058 days young anything can happen but if it closes under that left side low for two out of three days, it has to generate an entirely new buy signal. This is the weekly uh, uh, chart. Um, and it has to come from the stochastic, which is at 7% and not giving you anything. Unfortunately, I don't have volume here. That would have been the trigger. But it, you, you need to see the price hold above the left side low of 1.0664, that was the, the March of 2022 low, at least for two out of three weeks, this is a weekly candle. If you look at the monthly candle, you'll see that because the dollar is in leg C in the Chapman wave, once you get a buy mode going to um, uh, at leg C, you expect to have a D. And in the sell mode, you get to a leg C. It doesn't mean you have to get to D, but the, the mirror image would say that the euro probably could have a good bounce at some point and then probably go to a lower low at some point. So it says that the dollar is still the currency of strength. That's for now. And we're looking at the USD JPY, which from, from my perspective, I always think it goes in the same direction as the dollar, but it doesn't necessarily do the same percentage. We saw it have a spectacular rally recently when the dollar was meandering. And then we've seen the vice versa. Right now, look at this incredible a weekly rally to a leg E. It could be F slash C, but I, I'm calling it an F for now. I've got fib numbers and all that. Doesn't matter about those. Look what happened in the uh, in the very long term chart. Look at this double top that's forming. It broke significantly above the high that was made back in uh, June of 2015 at 125.847. It's trading now at 130.32, up up 14. So as long as both the yen and the dollar are moving in the same direction, and now have the same implications of a triple, in this case, a double top. We'll see what happens over the next week because this is going to be really important right now. You've got a PKF going sideways. It hasn't broken to a new high like the Dow in the daily. Uh, I'll just tell you right now. I didn't tell you for the Dow, but I'll tell you for the um, uh, for the U.S. dollar. This is the yen, Japanese dollar, Japanese yen, U.S. dollar currency pair. If at any point on a weekly basis it actually closes below 126, it's at 130.35 right now. If it closes on 126, the daily has gone from a sell signal, it hasn't done that yet, it'll go from a sell signal to almost an immediate sell mode. That's number one. Number two is that the weekly chart for the nine to close under the 14, you'd have to see a trade in the 117s at some point, or it's a slow grind to the downside. So, so far, these are really strong, and any pullback says, just keep an eye on it because uh, 
it's within a trading it'll be within a trading band if it pulls back and the trading band says uh 126.80 let's go to 127 uh, to 130 it can even go to 132.50 that's kind of the trading band i'd be looking at now look at the um, gold gold is sitting on the 200 period moving average hasn't been able to break above it uses that certainly as a support level but if it starts to trade under 1850 there's there's a chance that this becomes tremendous resistance between 1867 remember for weeks i've been saying my target is 1865 uh, it's gone lower it went on the continuous contract it went down to 1849 and now and then it bounced strongly yesterday. Couldn't hold that. And today it's, it's green, but we'll see what happens. It's kind of stuck, but it's not breaking down. And when you think about what the dollar has done, I am impressed with gold. I think that gold is a currency of a geopolitical currency of fear. And therefore, it's holding well because countries, not banks and countries, the, the real big buyers are in there. And it seems to me that they are buying it. That monthly chart says, hey, you got your cup formation with a much weaker a left side to the right side from the July ish 2020 high to the pullback, double bottom, dreaded H pattern, and right there, A minus. And then it goes up to a C, a leg C, a gray C, because it's underneath the previous high. And so it says to me, gold is probably just stuck in a range for a little while longer as the dollar will find its. Uh, Buying pressure keeps coming in on dips. But if gold at any point, and this is what I'm looking at, in the summer, that is going into June, maybe July, if gold at any point starts to trade above 2010, that's the kind of break of the previous high. That was the high that was made on the 18th of April at uh, 2003. That's the kind of move that says, or watch this closely because the previous high of August, I always say August because in South Africa, we use the English ways to put the month first and then the day. In this case, you put, I'm sorry, the day first and then the month. Uh, I, for you know, decades and decades I've had this and I still do it. March the 8th of 2022, 2083.30. Uh, this gets smoothed out because it's continuous. It's still 2,083.70. All right, so that's moved to 10. But that will be the high that's targeted. Until then, it could go sideways. I think there's a chance of a much bigger move in gold later on in a, in a number of weeks. And that's when the dollar will have its next big pullback. Maybe at that point, it pulls back from a C and makes that leg D later in the year. We'll see about that. So I did that, did that. I want to look at high-grade copper, high-grade copper, making the H pattern so far is holding the left side low. But it seems to me copper has been in this range, this trading range for so long. Remember, rectangle formation can last a lot longer than our, your patients. We use this. The IWM was a great example. This has gone from around about May high of 49 down to the uh, 4.2-ish area. And it's just been in this range and, very, and finally went to peak A, B, C, peak D is your objective in the Chapman Way methodology for a buy mode, your first objective. It went there. And the rule of thumb in a rectangle is you can go a higher, but you probably, if you break the halfway point on the pullback, you're going to go towards the bottom, and that should be your next test of support. Look at the IWM, just as an example. There's that rectangle formation. It held all the way from... Uh, back in March 234 down to the 207 support and it just was in that range for uh, I mean for a year and then it broke out to 244.46 in leg D Chapman wave peak D pulls back breaks the halfway point and then it goes whoops down and makes this dreaded H pattern so this is much weaker and even today it's making a lower left side low uh, right side low to the left side that's very weak the uh, uh, small caps Let's look at silver here. Silver is SI. It went to a great peak C in the weekly chart. Um, this this cup formation could not break above the high significantly to try to test the previous high. I didn't type that in, but that was 2750. Yeah, 27, I think 27, 27.54. Pulls back, holds the 200 period moving average, goes above it and then breaks down and now you've got your strong resistance and this to me is the clue of the market when the when the copper starts to break down and wood which is the i shares of the global timber and forestry etf 
which has been holding so well, if it starts to break down, then the generally world economies are starting to slow down dramatically. I'll be back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious tech, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFN.com, educating investors. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30 day money back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. And as that Mozart overture, the manager Figolo, which I once said uh, when I was a professional musician, conducted, I went up once, I used to often conduct that, um, fantastic piece of music. Uh, we're looking at Wood, the iShares, made a peak D, sitting on the 200 period moving average. And now this is interesting. I had the question about Ford earlier on. I said, just make a fairly tight stop. But I, I see in the den, Peter says, largest 90-day decline in used car prices in the history of the Mannheim Index. Uh, down 6.6% since January. So I've got a feeling that, and, and look at uh, SLX, which is the steel sector ETF. It made this peak D, a weekly high, only a peak C in the monthly, a peak G, a little tiny doji candle. Remember, I measured the left side to the right side, way weaker than than, than the double tops. Uh, the technicals were forming, and we now at the 200 period moving average, so many uh, stocks and indexes <coughs> have treated that 200 period moving average, first with respect, and then just went right through it. So it's still starting to come down. If the... Um, um, and the outlook, the statement is outlook firm amid concern of global steel. I don't see how it can be firm. There should be some weakness coming in. So let's just make this as simple as possible. For the day, we're looking at, and Basil Chapman's just sitting in for the hour of um, Larry Pesavento, it's at 32.55. It started to pull back sharply, and then the market had a really good rally. The Dow actually went positive. Now it's down 278. Before I hand you over to all the different programmers here at TFNN, don't forget Larry has his webinar coming up. Um, on Tuesday, a week from Tuesday, I believe it is. Uh, go to the front page, check it out. But what we are looking at here is that the VIX index <clears throat> starts to climb from 32.50 into the 32.90s or 33.30s. Later this afternoon, as the market starts to weaken, you can have a very ugly close. And that Monday is going to be critical. I don't think we're in that crash territory because a crash territory would say, would say, hey, you get your crash and now you start your new big move to the upside. 
I don't think we're ready for that. I think we're rolling and we're going to concentrate. We've got the earthquake that happened. Now we've got the aftershocks and there are going to be a lot of aftershocks. So the general consensus that I think in my market view of all the industries, lower highs and lower lows is kind of the format that we're looking at with sudden springs to the upside. But I think until we get a real washout with the volatility index somewhere in the 48 to 52 area, and that could take a while before we get there, the conditions get there, I think we have to look at this as a trading, a trading area, short term trading, longer term. If you if you're building a cash position, which for subscribers to Mobile and Call, I've said for months, build a cash position. We want cash for the next major buy, and I think that that makes sense. Short term trades, yep, love them. You can deal with them, but looking out, just probably be very, very careful. Hey, Larry should be back Monday. Have a wonderful weekend, Basil Chapman. Signing off, and have a great weekend. So like.